I know I am super late with this video, but uh, to those who don't know, uh, over the weekend, Jose Uskategi fought against Vladimir Shishkin over in Vegas at the Cosmopolitan. It was the uh, co-feature the co-main event for the uh, Martin vs. Rivera event. Uh, this fight was scheduled for 12 rounds. It ended up going the whole 12 rounds. And Shushkin was able to pull off the big win. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd uh, really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, when this fight was happening, I had to go to work. I was able to catch a little bit of it. Uh, and then I watched the replay uh, the following day. Um... And uh, yeah, based on what I remember of it, I thought Shishkin did a very good job boxing, picking shots, moving around, using his feet, um, uh, you know, just boxing, simply boxing, showing that he is the better boxer, that skills pay the bills, and in the end, he was able to pull it off and get the win, land some more of the eye-opening, eye-catching punches on uh, on Uskatgi. Now, Uskatgi did have moments here and there, um, but it wasn't really enough to win the fight. Fight went the distance, like I said, 115, 113, 117, 111, 117, 111, all in favor of Shishkin, and rightfully so. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm happy that Uskategi lost this fight. I feel like he's he did not deserve, he doesn't deserve these big fights after testing positive, when was that, two years ago or last year? Um, for a banned substance leading up to the uh, Benavides fight. I felt like he did not suffer the punishment uh, yet. After testing positive, I feel like no, n none of the sanctioning bodies or what have you punish him, um, and he's still getting this big, you know, paycheck fights. But that's just me. Um, but I'm glad he lost because, uh, like I said, I just don't think he deserves these big fights. And uh, I'm glad Shishkin was able to get a big win, definitely the biggest win of his career, and um, definitely moving on to bigger and better fights for Shishkin. Uh, with this loss, Uskatigi suffers his fifth loss in his pro career, never been stopped before. Um, I'm sure we'll see Oskatagi again inside the ring. I mean, he has a good promoter behind him. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, I'm, I'm blanking on his name. His promoter. Damn it. Um, starts with with an L, I think. Whatever. He he. They they work closely with PBC and uh, Showtime. Same promoter as as for um, David Ramirez. Uh, Be David Benavides. Um, man, I'm blanking on his name. Ugh. Uh, if you know the name, let's put it down in the comment section below. I'm blanking on his promoter's name. Um, but yeah, I think Oskatagi will be back. I'm sure he'll he'll be in a big major fight again. Uh, I just, honestly, just after testing positive like that and not really getting that much punishment for it. Um, so I don't think he, he, he got a... Did he get a suspension? And if it was a suspension, it must have been a quick suspension. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, with this win, Vladimir Shishkin improves to 14-0. Eight wins coming by way of knockout Tikio remaining undefeated. And it's the biggest win of his career. And uh, it's a good win. Uh, definitely a win that would hopefully lead to bigger and better fights. He was ranked number 9 going to that fight. And number 15 by the WBO. And number 9 by the IBF. He was number 8 by the WBC. But they dropped him for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, and like I said, hopefully it would just lead to bigger and better fights. And hopefully against somebody in the top 15. That's the hope. So how many top 15 that would hopefully lead to... Maybe one day fighting for a world title, depending on how the division looks in the next year or two. So, anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening and watching, and like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.